could you briefly introduce yourself, please? My name is Samson David, and I am the Youth Affairs Division in charge with the Association of Indian Universities. This is known better as AIU. Association is the association of several universities. There are about 380 universities in India which are recognized, and this is the apex center body of that. There are so many things that we do in this association, right from the research in higher education to youth welfare. And uh, in the youth welfare division, uh, we looking after basically the youth development work, like the projects I'm dealing with, the building youth leaders. So leadership camps I've been organized, youth rallies, awareness camps like HIV AIDS, etc. Then uh, many literary and fine arts activities just for promoting the social issues and awareness among the people that we have been doing from the inter-university youth festivals, literary contests, symposia, workshop conferences of youth in the university sector and there are uh, as I told that there are more than 380 universities and 18,000 colleges and uh, catering to about uh, one crore or uh, 10 million people, uh, uh, youngsters, the university youth in the country. Why did you think it was important to participate in this consultation? See, when I got this invitation, I was became very excited. Because, you know, <clears throat> this is a very, very sensitive and very contextual and uh, contemporary issue that uh, we have touched now here. Just, we have to, this is nurture talent, uh, nurture, you know, amongst the youth and the uh, youth workers about their, their uh, sensitivity that they have to be uh, sensitized, sensitized towards their society and uh, nation and the whole world by being active or uh, participatory, uh, you know, in the whole movement of uh, this uh, governance, I would say, uh, of our society, country, and the world. So we have to become very active and sensitive about this issue and being a, an active participation in the social development or the nation development through youth. And what do you hope to gain from these two days? See, uh, I'm gaining so much from uh, the lectures and, uh, and the talks that we presented or the interactive session that we had today. That is, and uh, that uh, basically we have seen that the youth over here in the country, uh, they are more passive and uh, they are only either listening but we have to inculcate in them a sort of sense or sensitivity through which they have to directly participate in the developmental issues maybe that that could be either the you know through education health or social or uh, like somebody in the morning mentioned about the global warming and all these very very important issues secondly that the youth, we have basically in India, we have divided into two sections. That is, you know, educated and non-educated. And the rural uh, youth, which comprises the basic more, you know, population is about more than 70 percent. We have to take them in more in the participatory discussion. And I am so happy to learn and witness today, especially in this uh, symposia that you are organizing, that you have from diverse groups and even the people from the rural side. And uh, it, it is a sort of, you know, community interface between the, you know, higher ups and the lower ups. And so there's a common ground for everybody. So I learned quite a lot and whatever I'm learning, I'll be just passing on to the university and college youth of India through my uh, this network. Uh, we have uh, in whole of India, uh, like so many universities, I have cultural coordinators in all the universities. And uh, through them, I'll be passing on this message that I'm getting from you. Wonderful. Thank you very much.